All right, today we're going to discuss the remedies for saltiness. Whenever you lose, right? It's not just any type of loss. Like, when you lose convincingly, it's pretty easy to just say, you know what, whatever, man. I couldn't do it. Like, he just destroyed me. There's nothing to be mad about. Some games are close and comes down to a decision and we feel like the opponent made the wrong decision, the wrong choice, but we lost because we didn't see it coming and we get angry at that, you know, like in that one moment he just did it and it worked, right? That makes us salty, right? I want you to understand something and I'm reminding myself and you guys that when that happens, right, when it comes down to the final situation, right, tooth and nail, and you lost, even though you made the best possible decision at that moment that you felt, right, and someone did something out of ignorance, or gamble and you lost to it you know that feeling that's the type of feeling that pushes you to send rage mail or whatever right I want you to understand something using reason right using reason you can overcome this saltiness and absorb it and only benefit from that loss you can grow stronger you can be calm in the situation when it comes back again. And I want you to, to think about this. Think about this really. Like, when you lose that loss, right? And you just explode, right? Before you explode, what happens? You feel this sensation in your chest and your head, right? Your heart just goes nuts. You feel heat. You feel heat, right? Now, it is completely your will to act on that heat. You want to act up and send a mean message. It's not going to make you the better man. It doesn't make you less of one, I mean, if you act out, but it's a sign of weakness that you let salt get to you. And how we're going to combat this is using reason we can come to the conclusion that it's illogical to act upon that salt. You have no reason to be mad. If you know that what the choice you made was not the wrong choice, you may still lose. Now, you lost the fight, right? And they won. They did something stupid but they won, right? You don't have to insult that, that player. Because he did it because he doesn't know better. But you know better, right? So if you know better, you know that things like this happen. Now, who is the real winner here? Think about this. Who's the real winner? You know the flaws of what he just did, right? What he did is not going to work on everybody. There's no reason to be mad. Just let it go. Because you know in the end why you made the choice you made. You know you knew how he got you. There's no point in sending him hate mail. It solves nothing. You have to just mind your own business. I know this kind of sounds funny, but... You have to mind your own business and see why you lost. Because the final situation is not why you lost, my brother. What led, up, what led to the final situation is why you lost. The final situation is when you lost. But why you lost... There's usually indications of why you lost in the mid-game. Mid-game and your early foundation. So when you look back on that, your choices that you made 
the path that you took to exercise your will, that is why you lost. Yelling at that guy is not going to change nothing. It's not going to grow you as a player. And when you overcome salt, you grow exponentially. Because you realize, if you know that you're not bad at the game, right? Hold on, let me cut this in half, right? If you know that you're not bad at the game, there's no reason to get mad. There's no reason. If you know that you're not bad. I'm not trying to shit on anybody who, who acts out on salt. We all have done this before. But understand this. The less salty you get, the game becomes more beautiful. Because then you realize that there's something to learn from every single fight. There's win or loss, you're one step closer to mastery. And like, there is no way but up. There's no way but up. You're always getting better. Regardless if you're on a losing streak, regardless of any of that, there is only one direction. You're getting better. You don't get worse at these games. You get better. Always. You have to understand this. You get better at applying different things. You know, if you're losing a couple points and you get angry, right? Listen here, man. Points are the illusion. Regardless if you're winning or losing, you are getting better. You're getting, you're accruing more knowledge. You're seeing more things. You're witnessing how different players come to decisions. You're not losing anything. You're gaining wisdom. You're gaining experience. That salt all it really does is distract you from the true issue the true issue is whatever got you to lose salt is like oh I'm mad cuz I lost have you ever thought about it this way though like didn't losing make you what you are today See, new players get a lot less salty than seasoned players. After you know a lot of, you feel like you know a lot of stuff, that's when you get salty, really, right? But the truth is, losing will never end. You will always lose. Uh, the, the best players know this. Now, look, you're always going to lose. Why get mad about it? The journey is to become consistent and lose less. The fact that you lose keeps the journey alive, doesn't it? Because I don't know what you think, but the two greatest things about Street Fighter, the fighting games in general, is the adversity it is seeing what you were and then seeing what you become you know what I'm trying to say like there will always be someone better than you the job of a of, of street fighter is to go and find them and then beat them do you see what I'm trying to say losing is the beauty of the game Winning does get boring. You, you probably don't know this, but winning gets boring. It does. You want to be challenged. That is the true fun in the, of the fight. So look at losing in a different way. Understand that that could be you. Like... Let's say someone gets a good read on you and you're angry as shit because yo man, that shouldn't have happened to me. Right? 
Well, guess what? It did happen to you. And you know what? You've probably done the same thing to a thousand, to ten thousand, to seventy thousand other people. I know I did. So, like, how can you really be mad? If you're really that nice, right? Maybe a hundred, couple hundred people bodied the shit out of you, right? But you bodied like 50,000 plus other people. How can you be mad? Think about this. People break their freaking TV, their Xbox, their stick. Because you double perfect them. That's just, that takes 30 seconds of your time. And now you want to get a little mad because it was close and you lost. Relax. Chill out. It's not the end of the world. You're only getting better. Because now you found out how someone makes you lose. You see what I'm saying? You have to change your perception of winning and, lo and losing. Winning and losing. You have to change your perception. Because really, in this game, in these games, there is only winning. Do you see it or do you not see it? That's your problem. But understand, you're only winning. Oh, you're only winning. Engage in philosophy. This is what gives breeds beauty into this game as well. Ask questions. The other things, like let's say sometimes we, we get salty over doubt, but when there is no doubt, if you know you're a good player, you're not going to get mad because you know this happens to everybody. Another reason people get salty is what? I deserve to win. What? You deserve... You don't even know if you deserve parents. And you want to sit and say you deserved to win? Shut up. Right? Get real. And also understand that winning and losing really isn't your call. I mean, this is my belief. I don't know if you guys believe this or not. But every win and every loss, I feel like that's destiny. I think God decides who wins and who loses every single time. When you lose or when you win, that doesn't mean like God's mad with you or happy with you, but there's something to take from both. When you win, your humility is challenged. And when you lose, your patience is challenged. Absorb these and you grow. Growing arrogant does not benefit you. It doesn't. It only corrupts your heart further. And then it leads to more saltiness. I hope that you took my advice sincerely and hope you guys grow as fighters. I wish you luck on your, your journey. Peace.